La question de la participation the issue of citizen participation or stakeholder participation has emerged in the management of the environment, which is subjected to a lot of pressure and global change. In the first part, we will see that opening the debate is a legal constraint. The multiplication of participative procedures concerns three key fields ethics and technology, GMOs, nuclear waste, the territory and managing the environment. None of the rungs of the political ladder, either regional or national, uh, can escape the increase in these participative initiatives. They take place within constituted uh, territories, Natura 2000 reserves, natural parks, natural reserves. There are a number of laws which specifically invoke citizen participation. Here are but a few. The Bouchardeau law creates an obligation to inform and speak. The Barnier law uh, for the strengthening of environmental protection. These laws are exclusively based on principles, but other have given a specific form to this, the Voinet Law about sustainable development, or on the European level, the Aarhus Convention, which takes interest in environmental management and creates a right to information, access to justice, and participation of the public involved in the elaboration of regulations in the environmental field. Thus, in 2006, the law about national parks of 1960 was revised, and that about marine natural parks organizes the creation of these parks with a preliminary discussion with all bodies concerned and a management council involving a diversity of uh, local stakeholders. Among the various political fields, the environmental field is particularly interesting because the issues are complex, conflicting and controversial. The resolution of these questions requires mobilization of a great number of stakeholders who interact on various levels. The law now creates an obligation to do this. Likewise, environmental management goes beyond the regular administrative borders, Natura 2000, natural reserves, protected areas, in order to co-construct a territory in the anthropo anthropological sense, to create social bonds between the various stakeholders and uh, create the beginnings of a community. And currently, uh, protectionist values presume that men are guilty, but natural spaces are much more considered as being social spaces resulting uh, from a multi-secular work. One must now design forms of management that can reconcile usages that may change over time and the preservation of environments. There are two key consequences. Any stakeholder is potentially a producer of nature. Nature. The farmer, the forester, the urbanist, the fisherman, and protection cannot take place without him. The results of the conversation must allow an organization that encourages the management of a territory, the creation of documents, the statement of objectives. But beyond the design of a project for a given territory, the point is also to acknowledge fully the diversity of social groups within these practices and value systems. In the second part, we shall see how one can implement the discussion. The diversity of participatory procedure is great. There are interventions on the national level with citizen conferences or more locally. The form can be institutionalized, detailed through government decrees or be guaranteed with someone heading a commission. The referendum is another tool, public inquiry or the National Commission of Public Debate. Non-institutionalized forms can be created 
by their initiators based on the stakeholders in presence and the questions that arise. They can be formalized, either reproductible, or constructed according to the inspiration of their facilitators. They can uh, take on artistic forms, theater, photography, workshops, use IT resources, modeling, role play. There's a picture here that shows a role play used on the island of Wesson or geographical information systems. And there are two pictures here that show the use of participative mapping. One can also use the media, debates, or found the debates on psychology or sociology through a deliberative uh, opinion polls. The objectives are not always well understood or defined by the various stakeholders, which can create a number of problems in terms of positioning and commitment. It seems very important to clarify whether these procedures are consultative or whether they are a process of co-construction or whether they are involved in or where the decision-making power is shared with uh, the elected representative, as in uh, participative budgets. In the third part, we need to wonder how to analyze these systems, who with, how, and why. In the face of this multiplication of systems and forms, it is important to ask a number of questions about the process itself and its effects. When you question the quality of the process, you need to take into account, in terms of the participants, their diversity, their representativity, their skills, as well as equal access to these systems. For the process, this essentially means the level of transparency and traceability of the debates, access to the information or the equity of, uh, uh, of speech. The effects have not been uh, studied so much, but one can consider that it includes the uh, recognition of the players, new social postures, the processing of issues through the construction of new knowledge or new rules, but the effects can also be on the recognition of stakeholders, the sense of belonging to a territory, or renewed proximity or networks. One should also not neglect what might be called the side effects of these processes, the strengthening of the power of some stakeholders, new notabilities in participation, or in the inability to mobilize the general public, or the instrumentalization of participation. In conclusion, there is a true conversation that is there, but one must keep it under close supervision. The diversity and increase in participative initiatives forces us to analyze what is going on, both in terms of the stakeholders and in terms of the results. We need to go beyond a purely normative approach. The debate, the conversation is useful. It must not be purely critical. It needs to be analyzed and in the effects, in the results, but also, as Hirschman notes, in its uh, perverse effects of inanity or endangerment.